Well, good afternoon, everyone. We are so glad that you've joined us for this truly a celebration of God's love and his goodness. Pastor Steve here at Ocean View Church in beautiful, sunny San Diego, uh, just thanking you on behalf of Maria and David and their entire family for joining us in this uh, strange and unfamiliar way. But I can tell you from firsthand experience, it's the first time that I've ever performed a wedding in this way. But we're grateful for the way that everyone has been very fluid and flexible and adhering to the guidelines. You may be wondering why I'm not wearing a mask right now, and that's at the request of the bride and groom, who also will not be wearing a mask during the ceremony. But we'll be social distancing, and everyone in the wedding party uh, will be a long way from us. So let's begin by having a word of prayer. Father, we are so grateful for your goodness. We're so thankful that you're a father who cares and loves and superintends over all things. We're grateful that we can trust in you and that we don't have to lean uh, on our own understanding, but in all our ways, we can acknowledge you and we know that you'll direct our path. So today, as we truly celebrate the true love giver, which is Christ, that you would help all of our hearts to draw closer to you and ultimately to celebrate this union that we are going to witness. So we give ourselves to you and we're grateful. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. I just want to begin by saying a few personal comments about this couple. Uh, I've been Maria's pastor now for several years and have seen her at work in ministry in so many vibrant and beautiful ways. And literally almost one year ago, she and I spent some time in Tijuana, Mexico on a missions trip. And I was privileged to be partnered with her for literally half of a day, walking up, at the, up and down the hills in the heat, in the dust and the dirt, uh, through the city of Tijuana, Mexico, being a witness for the Lord Jesus Christ and going door to door, inviting people to events that we were having throughout the week. And I'm gonna tell you right now, I've never worked with somebody, truly, who is more sacrificial, more loving, more kind, more patient uh, with me, the white gringo going door to door with she, a uh, Hispanic bilingual, uh, beautiful lady doing the work of ministry. It was a, a privilege to me, and I really got to know her that day and her love for the Lord. David, on the other hand, I've only known for a short period of time, but the more I get to know him, the more I like him, and the more I see that he truly is a man that fears the Lord, reverences God, and wants to really walk in his ways according to his word. And you'll see that in some of the things that we do in the, uh, in the ceremony today, because he and Maria work together to write some of what you're getting ready to witness. So, Without further ado, we're going to go ahead and begin. Again, we're just most grateful that you all are tuning in with us online. So these two are living their lives in anticipation of the return of Jesus to the earth and his marriage to his bride, the church. They have organized this ceremony to be an event that leans expectantly into that time. Maria, she will enter first, receiving the blessing of her spiritual parents and then wait for David in the same way that the church waits for the coming Messiah. When David enters, the shofar will sound and the marriage will take place. The hoopah we are standing under represents the covering and protection of the Lord over these proceedings and over David and Maria. At this time, the wedding party is going to proceed to enter the room.
at this time, Lupita is going to bless Maria. Great. I'm going to hand you a mic so that Me picking in my Sí, muchas bendiciones. Te deseo que tu amor con Ten siga creciendo y que tu Dios siempre esté en medio de los dos y que te siga bendiciendo con esta obra y mucho más. María, Lily, like we call you in the family. Blessed is the man and the woman that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight and her delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his law doth he and she meditate day and night. Maria, we bless you. We wish you many, many years of happiness, many joyful experiences as you begin your life now with Dave. We bless you. We look forward to see many adventures of you together and to see you now being as part of this great family of married people. We love you. Amen. Thank you. This time, David's going to be entering from the back, followed by his boys. I just want to say we love you on this awesome day. We're all standing with you. Lord, we just, just want to bless you. Lord, Lord Jesus, God our Father, thank you for the Holy Spirit. Thank you for this day. Thank you for this man. Lord, we just all collectively, as a family, as one family, lift him up to you. You know him. You know his name. He has been a man of you my entire life and before that. And Lord, I just bless this marriage. I bless this man to be the leader that we all know he is. And we just sanctify him, sanctify this marriage, and bless this day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. At this time, Blanca and Irma are going to come in and stand by Maria. This time, Lily and Olive are going to come in and stand beside David. Beautiful. Well, before we begin our ceremony, Andy has a song that he's going to come and he's going to sing for you too.
guys want it. Betsy, are you and Andy gonna sing? Yes. Why don't you come stand by the microphone? That way everyone can hear it. Just a little song for David and Maria. We'll see how we do. We'll see how we do. For oh, the longest time. Fantastic. I, I was singing along with them. So is everyone else back there that all of you other people can't see? My favorite part was Lily, though. I mean, it is Lily. Is that right? I loved your part. I'm going to sing that again later. So today we celebrate the union of David and Maria. David, I'm going to have you and Maria come up a little closer, and we're going to make sure that there you go. The camera's right in the middle. Maria, I'm going to have you stand there. Beautiful. In a minute, you're going to get closer, but right now, okay, keep your space. So we celebrate the union of David and Maria, but on a much greater scope, we celebrate the harmony that God has pictured for us in his word for all people. Why will the foundation of this marriage be solid, and how will they radiate the unconditional love of Christ to the world? The reason is they know Christ as Savior, and that's phenomenal. And we're thankful for the testimony that goes forth to us and to your grandkids and to the generations that come after us. The Bible in this marriage can be summarized in two words love and relationship. The Bible is certainly the most remarkable book of love in the world. It records the greatest love story ever written, God's unconditional love shown to men through the sacrifice of his only son, Jesus. God created man to experience a covenant relationship with him and second, with his wife. If individuals find all that they need in God, they will be all that they need to each other. And that is a key, certainly, to marriage. Right now, I'm going to ask my wife. She and I last week celebrated our 30th wedding anniversary. And the reason that we're still together is because of that promise that God gives to us. If we seek first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness, he adds all of these things into our life, including, including a new grandbaby recently. But Chris is going to come, and she's going to read Ephesians chapter 6, and then I'm going to pray a prayer of dedication over you. 
Maria and David. Be strong in the Lord. Draw your strength from him and be empowered through your union individually and now today together with him. And do this in the power of his boundless might. Put on the whole armor of God so that you may be able to successfully stand up against all the schemes and the strategies and the deceits of the evil one. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood. Our fight is not with each other. Our fight and struggle is against the rulers, against the powers, against the world forces of this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of wickedness in the heavenly places. So because of this, put on the whole armor of God so that you will be able to successfully resist and stand your ground in the evil day of danger. And having done everything to stand in every circumstance, stand firm, fully prepared, immovable, and victorious, and hold your ground. Having fastened the belt of truth around your waist, and having put on the breastplate of righteousness, and having strapped on your feet the gospel of peace and preparation to share the gospel, the good news of Jesus in all things. And above all, in every circumstance, lift up the shield of faith, which is able to quench every fiery dart of the enemy. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, and with all prayer and with specific requests at all times, on every occasion and in every season in the spirit, keep this in mind, stand firm, and stay alert. Let's pray. Father, we're grateful again for your goodness, for your care over us. We know, Lord, that uh, you see all. And in this moment, I pray that your heart would be blessed because we are centered and focused on you. I thank you for this couple. And Lord, we do pray at all times because we're desperate for you. Our hope is in you. Our life is settled in you. And Lord, we rest in your arms today as you surround us with the security that is supernatural. It's filled with the Holy Spirit so that we might see the invisible, that we might love in a way that you love, and that, Lord, when hard times come, when difficulties come, with, when crisis comes, Lord, that we'll run into Christ as Lord, and that you hold us in your lap as Abba Father. So today we dedicate ourselves and our focus to you, and it's our privilege to know that your focus is on us. So we pray that your heart might be blessed because you are our blessing. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So y'all can be seated. Everybody online's like, we are seated. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> David, as you come before these witnesses, you are signifying that you're taking the initiative in this marriage covenant and that you, by the example of the Lord Jesus Christ, assume the greater responsibility in carrying out its terms. This much anticipated day and forever union with your bride begins right now. Is that surreal or what? <laughs> yes, it is. Family and friends, we're gathered here today in the sight of God, in the presence of these witnesses to join this man and this woman in holy matrimony, which is an honorable estate instituted by God himself. David and Maria, the Bible teaches that marriage is to be a permanent relationship between one man and one woman totally committed to God and to each other for life. The word of God says, for this cause shall a man leave his father and mother and shall cleave unto his wife and the two shall become one flesh. It is therefore not to be entered, in, entered into unadvisedly but reverently and discreetly in the sight of God. So I require and charge you both as you stand in the presence of God, your family and these witnesses, that you have duly considered this holy covenant that you are about to make you do now declare before all of us your exceptional pledge of faith to each other. Chapter 5 of the book of Ephesians likens marriage to the union between Christ and the church. Submit yourselves, therefore, one to another in the fear of God. Wives, submit yourselves to your own husbands as unto the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church. And he is the Savior of the body. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be unto their own husbands in everything. David, love Maria as Christ has loved the church, and be willing to give yourself for her. 
Marriage is a special relationship that requires sacrifice and effort. So David, if you love Maria as Christ loves the church, you'll be willing to lay your life down for her. And Maria, if you love David, respect him, recognizing God's promise of blessing in this. Seek to please him as the church desires to please the Lord. The purpose of every marriage, what a question that is. Why marriage? The purpose of every, every marriage is to give God the glory he deserves and to display his unconditional love that he's provided to us through his grace so that others might see him through you. Christ is the one that conforms us into his image. And that's important. We don't try and conform our spouse and change them in the way that we want them changed, but we depend upon the Lord and we pray that God does the miraculous work in them. And whenever we live more like Christ, everybody is blessed because of it. So David, will you take this woman to be thy wedded wife, to dwell with her according to knowledge? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, forsaking all others until death us do part. Yes. Amen. Maria, will you have this man to be thy wedded husband, to live together in the divine union of marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, honor, and submit to him in sickness and in health, forsaking all others, keeping only unto him, so long as you both shall live? So David, please repeat after me. Maria, do you want to pass your bouquet back? You guys can join hands, although you have a mic in one hand, so this will work. I, David, I, David, take thee, Maria, take thee, Maria, to be my wedded wife, to be my wedded wife, to have and to hold, to have and to hold, from this day forward, from this day forward, for better for worse, for better or for worse, for richer for poorer, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, to love and to cherish, till death us do part, till death us do part, according to God's holy ordinance, according to God's holy ordinance, and thereto, and thereto, I pledge thee, I pledge thee my, my faith, faith, and my faith, love. and faith. faith. Beautiful. Okay, Maria, it's your turn. I'm Maria. I'm Maria. Take thee, David. Take thee, David. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedding husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. For this day to forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. To death, uh, to death and us to do part. Us yes. part. According to God's. According to God. Holy ordinance. Holy ordinance. And thereto. And thereto. I pledge thee. I pledge thee. My faith. My faith. Fantastic. I'm going to take the mic. At this time, Blanca is going to come, and she's going to bless the token of love that you're going to exchange. The ring bearer is coming. Okay, is is Blanca going to say a prayer? Blanca, I'm going to let you use the mic that way people can hear. Okay. It's okay. Yeah, or remote. You you can leave it on. Oh, okay. Just pray. Yeah, they can hear you. Señor, le damos gracias, Señor bendito Espíritu Santo, porque Así con esa autoridad que usted me ha dado en Cristo, Señor, bendecimos, Señor, esta unidad, Señor, así como un anillo no tiene fin y así, Señor, no tendrá fin el amor, como dice usted, Señor, en su palabra encantar, Señor, que el amor 
es más fuerte que la muerte, Señor. Y yo declaro en el nombre de Jesús que ellos, esta unión, Señor, la bendigo, Señor, con un amor, con una unidad, el amarse uno al otro hasta el fin, hasta el, cuando usted los llame a su presencia, Señor. En el nombre de Jesús. Amén. Amén. You can face each other. Just join hands for a moment, and then I'll give you some instructions. So the wedding ring is the outward symbol of an inward and spiritual grace, signifying to all the unity of this man and this woman in holy matrimony through the Lord Jesus Christ. The wedding ring is a symbol of marriage in at least two ways. The purity of the gold symbolizes the purity of the love that you have for each other. And the unending circle symbolizes the unending vows that you are making today. Gold is the purest metal of all, purified by fire. Rest assured that when trials come in your marriage, and you two know that trials will come, God will lead you through the fire and purify the relationship as he shapes it into a priceless possession. So David, if you'll slip the ring on Maria's finger and repeat after me. In token of our const oops. There we go. In token of our constant faith. In token of our constant faith. And abiding love. And abiding love. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee, I thee wed. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. The Son. The Son. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Very good. Amen. Okay, Maria. If you can slip the ring on David's finger. Well, it's all right. We'll put it on as far as it'll go. Okay. We'll get it adjusted. No problem. Fantastic. Okay, Maria, please repeat after me. In token of our constant faith. In token of our constant faith. And abiding love. And abiding love. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I do it. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. The Son. The Son. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Wonderful. I love you. Thank you, Maria. At this time, the couple is going to observe communion together. And Irma is going to say a word of blessing. Gracias, Padre bendito, por estos elementos, Señor, que es, representan tu cuerpo, Padre bendito, que fue molido, Señor, en la cruz del Calvario, Padre. Y lo hacemos como recordatorio de lo que tú hiciste en esa cruz, bendito Dios. Señor Jesús, yo te pido que este elemento, Señor, que representa, Señor, tu carne, Señor, cuando ellos la tomen, Señor, sean sanados, Padre, que ninguna enfermedad toque sus cuerpos, Padre. Y este vino, Señor, que representa tu sangre, Padre bendito. Cuando ellos la tomen, Señor, sean limpiados, Señor, de cualquier pecado, Padre. Y lo hacemos, Señor, como, como un recuerdo a lo que tú hiciste por nosotros en la cruz, perdonando todos nuestros pecados y llevándote todas nuestras enfermedades, Señor Jesucristo. Y bendecimos estos elementos en el nombre de Jesús. Amén.
David and Maria, we as your friends and family today have witnessed you making a covenant with God and one another in marriage. The outward evidence of having a minister in ceremony, however, is not what preserves and seals this marriage. It is the honesty, sincerity of your heart in the sight of God and the power of the Holy Spirit working in you. In view of the promises made, I do now, by the authority vested in me as a minister of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, pronounce you husband and wife. Woo! David. <laughs> you. You, if, you, if you would like, you can light the unity candle and raise the veil and kiss your bride. consider that unity candle already lit right yeah that's not a problem the Lord knows well it's my privilege to introduce to the world and everyone who's witnessing online Wow mr. and mrs. David Iris So Maria, these are this is to the people who are attending virtually, by way of YouTube. Thank you for being with us. We draw your faith, and um, we're thankful that you could be with us in our, in this time. Okay, that's it. Love you, and we're done. Fantastic. Thank you, David. Thank you, everyone, for viewing online. Love you, man. Love you, brother. Thank you. You're welcome.